So we're looking at the teeth of the belt facing the larger half of the tensioner there. And um, the way I do it is I slip a little bit of the belt in first. Um, just enough so that you can still have a loop on the outside of it that the screw can then enter in without much tension at all. And so you can push down that loop, allow that screw to fit in there. Uh, once it's inside at all, then the challenge is getting that belt to slip inside the tensioner. You can kind of pull back on the belt itself to, to get it closer and then use a wrench just to, to help it along and, and um, use a good amount of force. It's rubber so it's it's going to get in there eventually. Just keep working on it. Once you get the lip through then um, that's when you can you can push a little bit by hand. You can go in and out with that screw uh, just a little bit more to, to relieve some of the tension. And then once you have it in solid, you can actually use a screw to pull the belt the rest of the way in. Use a wrench a little bit to help you along, and eventually you'll get everything lining up so that the belt is completely inside and the screw is completely on. Wind it up and make sure the screw is completely flush with the side because there's very little clearance in between the side rail and that tensioner. And then you have the tensioner and make make sure once again that the, the teeth of that belt are facing the large the larger half of the uh, of the tensioner. Uh, do the same with the other side, kind of mirror image, and you'll have uh, your set of belt tensioners.